Please remember to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video. Also in the description of this video you can find my compiled link. Through there you can find my YouTube channel, Patreon, email, your Playmat affiliate link, TCG player affiliate link, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, and non-Magic the Gathering YouTube channel, the CJ. Thank you for watching. How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back with the video. We're doing a first thoughts today. This first thoughts is on AO the Dawn Sky. This is a really, really cool card. You, when it dies, you either pull stuff from the top of your deck into play, CM, total CMC 4 or less, or you put counters on stuff. Both pretty powerful, pretty potent effects, and I like it. The categories I'm talking about are a little reanimation package because... It's got to be a death trigger, so casting it from the command zone over and over and over again gets very expensive. You might as well just bring it from your graveyard back into play. And then we're going to talk about some top of the library manipulation, some stacks cards, some counter synergies, and a couple of one-off cards. Just a couple of those. And yeah, we're hopping into this. So the reanimation package I want to talk about. You're going to be having to sacrifice AO a lot to get these triggers. And you don't want to cast it from the command zone, so you're going to want to pull it back from the graveyard into play over and over and over again, stuff like that. So there's a lot of good cards to do that, but the best card, I think, is Lifeline. This card's insane. Just sacrifice it. You pull creatures from the top of your library into your into play, and then Lifeline triggers the end step, and AO comes back. Boom. You're golden. Good stuff. Some other cards include Angelic Renewal, Karmic Guide, Loyal Retainers, Nim Death Mantle. That one's very powerful. Breath of Life, False Defeat, Late to Dinner, and Resurrection. All those are kind of a one-off thing. Good to have. Not not the strongest thing in the world, but good to, good to throw in the deck. Second Sunrise, Storm of Souls, Brought Back, Ameria Shepherd are also all very powerful effects. And then you can kind of use Helm of the Host because you just make token copies and sack the token so your AO stays alive, but the tokens just keep dying so you get those triggers. But you're going to need sack outlets too. So some of those sack outlets could be Altar Dementia, Ashnod's Altar, High Market, and Phyrexian Altar. All those, some of the best sack outlets there are. Next up, we're talking about Top of Library Manipulation. Because of how deep AO goes, it doesn't really matter too much about manipulating the top of your library. But the key here is if you got cards in your hand that you want to put on the top of your library. So to do that, you can use cards like Brainstone, Penance, and Scroll Rack. All of those seem like fantastic includes in the deck next up we're going to talk about some stacks cards because a i think ao could be a good stacks commander just kind of sacking and reanimating and pulling stacks pieces from your deck into play and some of those cool staxy cards could be both the thalias or kind of ameria akori michiko spirit of the labyrinth deafening silence draneth magistrate leonin arbiter aura of silence rule of law and eidolon of rhetoric all of these seem pretty powerful. Just, I, I love playing Stax decks, and I think that this could, I think this could be a really cool commander for a Stax deck. Like, sack it, get two things like a Thalia and a Draneth Magistrate into play off the top of your library. That seems really powerful. I like it. Next up, we're going to talk about counter synergy because there is a whole other synergy that this commander can provide. So some of the cool cards that interact with counters really well include cards like Abzan Battle Priest, Abzan Falconer, Anok Bondkin, Animation Module, really cool card there. Basri's Lieutenant seems very powerful. Same thing with Crystalline Crawler, big, being able to make mana. Hangerback Walker can put in a lot of work once it dies. Milas Automaton gives you card draw. Mm -hmm. Myriad Construct can create a lot of tokens when it dies. Pentavis, similar. Walking Ballista can just shoot things like crazy. And then there's a lot of cards that just let you put counters on at a good rate. And those include Basri Solidarity, Cathar's Crusade, that seems fantastic. Belladar Retreat, very powerful card there. Micaeus the Luminarch. Uh, Sword of Truth and du Justice for the, oh my god, pro Proliferate. <laughs> and then Victory's Envoy, all those seem very cool in this deck. And the one-off cards I wanted to mention. You've got Ameria, being able to reanimate things with that after you get enough planes. That seems amazing, being able to reanimate AO with it. I love that idea. And Lithoform Engine and Strionic Resonator, so you can copy AO's ability. All those great cards for this deck. 
and then some in the 99 in the 99 what do we got for in the 99 i didn't actually write anything so this is off the top of my head um AO seems like it would be very good in like an Atraxa style deck, especially if you're a plus one plus one counter synergy deck. It's any plus one plus one counter like, like Hamza seems great in that style of deck. It could be good in any like sacrifice themed deck, like a uh, Carador, stuff like that is a good reanimation target. There's just a, there's a lot of cool spots for this card. It's a high utility card and I think it fits into a lot of different shells. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's everything I've got. That's everything I got. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.